Hey guys, Spray and Pray here, and welcome to the seventh episode of my Let's Play of Victoria 2 as the Mighty Italy. We have already asserted ourselves in only a few years. I mean, the game started in 36, so it's been about 20 years, and we're, we're already the sixth power in the world. We are rising very quickly. We are about to usurp, we only like about 120 points behind the uh, United States where our industry is booming comparatively and our prestige is nice we're getting a bunch of military power nowadays looks like oh did the United States oh yeah United States is all done with all their cores now so they're like just pretty much ready to rock uh, I don't really know what this means about the heavenly kingdom is this a good thing or a bad thing that they that they took over but um we will see that that will definitely come to show what what happens when they civilize completely but uh, for now, let's uh, we're just gonna continue on here. Let's let's get going. Yeah, so we took over some African places. That's good for now. We're gonna get some more uh, ports and stuff like that. But the the next thing we're gonna get definitely is medicine because our supply limit is pitifully low, and we take a lot of attrition nowadays. And I think that's one of the major reasons why our economy fluctuates so much is because we're constantly losing soldiers. So let's take our transport fleet back. We're gonna move these guys up there, and I'm gonna turn off my stupid phone. Oh, it's you guys commenting! Yay, comments! I love comments, but I don't like it when they interrupt my videos. So it looks like we're gonna lose some ammunition. Yeah, let's cover their losses. That's fine. So we're, we haven't, we still haven't even finished uh, building all of our military units. So like we haven't even got to our full potential, and we're not even at our full fighting strength for when we, it's time to fight Italy. Or sorry, not Italy, but for for our cores, our Italian cores. Our fort level up here kind of sucks, though. So we're trying to expand, of course, the forts. This crisis has been going on for a while. They they want to know if we want to get want in on it. Um, we're going to be fighting against Bavaria, France. This might be a good time. I mean, let's go ahead and support the. Uh, the the United Kingdom because with Prussia at our side, we could probably beat France. So let's do it. We're going to express interest, and we're going to support the UK. Point defense system, good. Alright, now let's go get medicine. But this means we're going to be able to upgrade our forts again, which is going to be like a, a really great idea for us, because our forts are going to be renowned throughout the world as being impossible to siege, and if France does for some reason defeat us or something ridiculous like that, they won't be for long because, you know, we'll obviously have our super awesome forts to hide behind. Can you go to this? Yes, that's Savannah. Okay. Let's, uh, let's split these guys up. We're no longer going to be taking attrition, thank God. So we should probably start making a reliably high amount of money. Rock my cradle? Or send some to our neighbors? Um, yeah, I would rather send some to the neighbors, please. So Spain and Italy goes up, but we get, um... Yeah, that's fine. Send some to the neighbors. So apparently this crisis is going to explode shortly. Let's let's start moving our troops then to the to the border. What's the force limit over here? Twenty-seven. So we'll send these two, but we'll need to leave nine thousand behind, and we're going to have to change the trajectory of our of our ships just by one province over. So that's not, it shouldn't be a big deal. We're going to need all our troops here. Uh, we're gonna, probably just going to let our colonies get sieged. Uh, the Eastern Question, Ottoman Empire must recite. Oh, the Russian Empire. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, so it looks like there's going to be a bunch of wars probably declared on Russia. Yeah, they're at war with Prussia, the Ottoman Empire. Already. So this might even become another war, which is going to be really weird. Okay, yeah, so they, they're almost really close to giving us military access and stuff, which means we're kind of give, getting close to uh, getting all the other stuff that we want. Alright, so let's increase relations with them. So yeah, this crisis is probably going to explode. I hope so, at least. Um, as long as... Oh no, that's not going to be good, though. Because Prussia is going to fight Russia, and that means we're going to be left here to fight France all by ourselves. Probably. Maybe Fran France will probably dedicate at least a few troops to just sieging them and stuff, I'd hope. Anyways. Let's just start getting all of our troops ready. 
we're gonna head down here to uh, the Tunisia. I really, really hope that the uh, that the dam. I hope that the dam, freaking uh, something. I hope the dam something. I hope the British help because the British are notoriously bad at being like, oh yeah, we're just gonna hang out on our island for now. So uh, thanks. Yeah, look at that. They got some Irish nationalists. There, I bet you they wasted all of their military power on. No, they still have two hundred, obviously, but I bet you they're like all down here. Where's the hue? Uh, 45, 30, 30, Oh my god. Oh, let's get the one French colony down here. That's a great idea. France is at war with the Russians? That's weird. So France is both fighting the Russians and not fighting the Russians. That's really weird. Well, have fun, French. So basically, we're just going to hang out here on our little uh, border with them, and we're going to chill. Hopefully our boats will save our troops in time before they get attacked. That's my dream. Of course this game likes to shatter my dreams, but that's fine. Go ahead and occupy my colonies. I like I give a shit. Well, I am more I am definitely more worried about you hurting my other stuff over here. Still taking attrition, seriously? This is why we need medicine desperately, is because we're just taking ridiculous amounts of attrition. There goes some French armies up there. How are we taking attrition here? The force limit is 27. I mean, I guess these guys aren't fully reinforced, but still, that's like a ridiculous... They were already taking attrition. They're attacking where? Looks like they're attacking in Turin. Alright, so let's, let's send in some backup with the 32,000. I don't, I'm not sure that Turin has a really good advantage, advantageous terrain at all, so... Okay, we got those units. Looks like France has a lot of military power, gonna be tied up taking over a colony, so obviously if we can win the mainland, that's gonna be a lot better. Let's send these guys in to help as well. For some reason they're still beating us, I don't know how, but whatever. This is going to be a pretty staggering defeat for them now that we've moved in our reinforcements, thank god. Um, and I think this is, they only have a small army down here for, like, they only have about 56, is that 52,000? Uh, I'm torn. We won the Battle of Turin, great. They are taking a ridiculous amount of, of attrition. Let's leave this army here and we'll take the rest of these guys back. I'm not really trying to be too offensive in this war, but we might need to be. Let's get the wounded out, yeah. So they're going to attack us up here. Okay, well, that's a bad idea. Let's take our fresh troops from down here and send them up there. These guys are going to just swoop around. Uh, okay, we could probably get both of our armies out of there, because I'm pretty sure we have 14 transports, so 14 times 3 is definitely enough to get these guys, I hope. Because we're going to need them, apparently. Yeah, we already got a big big battle going on. Is France going up there, too? No. Well. Let's see if we can't get these guys... Where are these guys going? To turn? These guys are also going there? I can't tell. Okay, I don't care about the fort. I want to know about the massive 16,000 army that's coming. Can you please tell me where that is going first? I would love if you could prioritize that information for me. We won the battle up there.
All right, we'll leave the 23,000 up there. Send those guys there, and those guys back to there. And these guys can go there. And then uh, you guys just stay here. That's fine. Right, we got more troops coming in. Don't worry about it, guys. Backup is on its way. We could also do a pretty fancy Smanshi blockade. How's the war going? Okay, so we got some really good blockades. That's great. Um, if we 100%... Ooh, I wonder if... I hope the UK's got their navy over here, because if we could 100% the... Oh god, there's so many Irish nationalists. Could you not fight them, please? And help us fight France? Because France is kicking our balls down here. I'm still taking attrition. I don't know why. Well, we can always move troops back. Okay, I know why we're taking attrition here, but still. Alright, so that should be a pretty good balance of everything. Get some extra troops down here, just waiting to be sent somewhere. Send them here. Um, can we get an alliance with Prussia? It looks like they're gonna lose. We might lose this war. I mean, it's not a big deal, it's just some dumb crisis, but uh, now, now it looks like the Russians and the French are on the same side. I really wish the British would do more than futz around with their own thing. Looks like the USA is fighting the Civil War at the same time as well. Right on time. We could officially recognize the CSA giving us prestige. The United States would lose prestige. That's fine. Who cares? We'll get free prestige out of it. Yeah, I'm not trying to form an alliance with them, though. Yeah, they're going to lose. Yeah, the United States is a, a massive... They, they obviously knew what they were doing because the Confederacy has, like, no troops. I, I don't think I've ever really seen the Confederacy win, but, the, you know, what happens sometimes is that the Confederacy still might get a white piece. Like, the United States, if they're, if they're able to be kept at war long enough, they might white piece, so... That could be one way for the uh, Confederacy to win. Alright, so we're going to move in more troops here to defend from France. And in this way, we're cutting them down to size. Balance off these guys. We're going to want to go fight these Bavarians. We'll wait for them to step into our territory before we fight them. It looks like they're heading down to Verona. They're probably going for Ferrara, so let's go for Modena. Looks like the French once again engaged us, but this time they're going to lose. Yeah, they didn't even have a chance. So let's take these guys and go kill the uh, these guys over here. Farming efficiency, yay! We should have an easy time mopping them up, I'm, I, I would assume. Sure. Sure, you may def most definitely have military access. <sighs> um, what are we going to do? We're still taking freaking attrition over here. Um, let's take the small army and send them back, I guess. I, I mean, I'd rather not take attrition, please. So yeah, we can pretty much remain defensive like this for eternity. We're successfully able to defeat the Bavarians, I'm pretty sure. So actually, we're doing quite well. We've got plus 26 from battle. Uh, let's go ahead and 100% uh, blockade the French. We need to leave a ship down here. Uh, sure. Okay, we've done our job, and now UK do yours. You should be able to blockade them. Prussia as well. We made a discovery. Looks like we're gonna beat. Um, we're gonna do something sneaky here, if it'll let us. We're gonna actually. Sur oh, we can't. There's so many damn provinces. I was gonna surround them, but 
That, like, and then that would obviously squish their army. That's a little little tactic you can use in Victoria too. But since there's so many damn provinces, I, and I, I don't really want to venture into their lands too much. So if we can just fight them from here, that's what I'm gonna wanna. Uh, that's what I'm gonna prefer. And we've got more forts to expand. Let's go take out these Russians. I like that it lets you build up the forts even if you're already if you're being occupied. It's nice. I mean, obviously we're gonna kick them out, but you know, it's nice to not have to remember for eternity. So the French are 100% occupying us over here in the colonies, but that's that's okay. Uh, we're we're doing a really good job battling against them, so I'm not too concerned about those wins that they're gonna get down there. The points that they're gonna make are, are minuscule compared, comparatively. They're gonna see our poor precious metal thing though. That sucks. How's our budget nowadays? Got no loans. We're losing a little bit of money, of course, but we have a lot of. We're making a lot of tariff money. I'm sure. I'm sure that has to do with our, like, port-centric location. Um, Thirty thousand troops coming to attack us here. We're gonna move into uh, assist. There we go. Yeah, no problem. Once, as soon as we have better numbers than them, they're gonna start taking way more losses than us. So, um, looks like they're actually moving it. Where are these guys going? To, uh, to Turin. Alright, so then that's fine. We'll engage them there. How are we doing, by the way? I, do we have, they have a crossing penalty, but do we get any, like, dig in or mountain defense? No, nothing? That's strange. Let's send some more reinforcements, because it looks like that's not enough. And we're getting attacked here. Let's move in more reinforcements. Are we getting any sort of, yeah, we do have the dig in, so that's nice. Alright, we won the we won the battle over there. That's, we didn't actually need to move these troops in. Let's uh let's send these guys down here. We don't want them to go and fight. Let's balance these guys out because they're taking a little bit much attrition. Let's send them in to fight, I guess. Yeah, so we're doing a pretty good job holding out the French. I mean if only we had this amount of military power when we when we first started. Uh, that would this would be great. We would be awesome. Like it, when the when the French declared war on us earlier, if we had these guys, these numbers, we would be fine. And I'm pretty sure the Russians are still uncivilized, so we're probably gonna have an easy time fighting against them. Austria is not in this war, so it, will, it might be a good time. Yeah, let's proceed with that alliance with Prussia, please. I mean, they're gonna probably get occupied and a little bit snuffed because of the. Uh, Things here, but uh, how how is the how's the military war? How's the war going? We're at twenty six percent. What do we need? We don't need that much. We're going. The battles are going very well, apparently. Although it looks like Prussia is starting to lose, but they do have seventy five thousand troops up there. The Prussian, the, the French army is at one hundred and twenty per twenty strength. We're at seventy nine. The rush, the Prussians are at ninety six. So I mean, we have a pretty good spread on them. I, I wish we just had a little bit stronger blockade. We're also beating up a Russian army here, which is going to help with the war score again. Let's see, well, look at that, plus two score, sweet. Once again, the uh, they keep attacking us up there. Uh, we might actually lose that battle because I didn't pay attention. I'm really stupid. Sorry about that, guys. I hope we get there in time, but I doubt we will. It's not going to be that super scary. Oh, no, we actually made it. Awesome. Go, little guys, go. Yeah, we're going to get the turn before they... Uh... Good, we won the battle up here again. We're going to have to balance these guys twice. So, uh... We'll leave the 20,000 stack. You guys go there. And then these guys can go to Milan, where there's more limit. And then we're right about to get medicine, so we'll be able to stack up more troops, actually, in a second. There we go, we got medicine, now no more attrition, thank god. Alright, let's send these guys in to help then. Where are they going? They're gonna head back. Uh, 
We can get high pressure, low steam now. Or high and low pressure steam engine, rather. I'm stupid. Or should we get more supply limit? Let's do that. Let's get the more supply limit again. I think, that, I think that's really going to be a lot more helpful than anything else, pretty much. Just being able to have more troops on the one provinces that we want them to be on. The war is not going well enough for us to add a war goal, seriously? We're going pretty well. Send troops to back up these guys. And it looks like these guys are going to get attacked. So yeah, the supply limit's now 51. That's much, much better. These guys are still taking attrition, though. Supply limit's still only 34 up there. I guess, I guess it's really, you know, it's always going to be low. It's still better than 27. You know, that's what it was. But we can now fit these troops, hopefully, over there in Nurava. Not have to worry about it. But these these guys, this is going to be some good experience for us. Just because now that our troops are getting this, they're going to be like nice and battle hardened when we're going against the uh, these guys. Because let's see here, how's how do we have any star? Yeah, look at that. So we got some good experience over here. That's good. It's giving us some nice prestige. Everything is good about this war so far. I mean, I don't see anything really bad, honestly. Yeah, the Civil War is done, pretty much. Looks like the Confederacy is lost. We've got a pretty large army of... How's our supply limit over to there? Well, let's go take those Russians out. And we'll move these guys to there for the meantime, because no telling where the French will attack us. Um, how's it? Ooh, looks like the, uh, the Prussians have pushed the uh, French away. That's good. The Russians aren't aren't really trying to fight, I guess. Oh, the Prussians pieced out the Russians. What? Nice. Good good strategy, Prussians. That's that's really cool. We can't propose peace when the cri Oh, we can't you can't separate peace in a crisis war. Then how did how did the Prussians get out of the war with the Russia? That's weird. Maybe oh, the AI is above above anything. <laughs> They can do whatever the hell they want, I guess. But that is nice, because now the Prussians can just focus. So let's start moving. Let's start moving into the uh, into the French territory. Because it looks like we'll be able to win. Yeah, and let's head these guys over to Turin, because that's where we'll, you know, have our main reinforcements going, coming from. see how this goes. I hope that their army gets out of the way quick enough. Good, it did. All right. So where are they going? They're going to Anansi. That's this one, right? Yeah, okay. Come and attack me then, I guess, bitch. You want to fight? You want to play? You want to touch each other? Okay. France misses the days when we were friends, when we were butt buddies. Beating up Austria together all the times. All the good times. Ruined. Ruined. Completely ruined because of the, uh... That. Look at that. Rolling a 9. What a boss. Now 2. But, you know, still. That 9 was awesome. Come on, finish him off. Roll a 9, buddy. Or just finish off with a 1. Whatever gets the job done, I guess. Alright, so we already siege Nice. Can we add our war goal? I would like to get my cores back from France, please. It said our navy was under attack? Oh, because we kicked him out. Alright, nice. Um, send troops in just to help out. We'll attack French here. These should be two staggering defeats if I'm if I'm lucky. Yep. Where the fuck are these Russians coming from? I swear. Like, what the hell? <laughs> I guess they got military access. 
Good, good. Where are these guys going? Anansi? Where's my army over there? Now they're gonna arrive on February 11th, which is only three days away. We're gonna arrive on the February on the 12th. Okay, so let's not do that. Let's just um, let's just chill. And um, and we'll go for killing. Uh, well, you see, I don't want to leave the sieges just yet. I want to get this siege, and then we'll leave. But you know what? It might not be wise to allow the Russians and the French to get together. Let's let's kill them off while they're separate still. We shouldn't have too much of a trouble too much trouble fighting in Nice. When's the big February twenty second? When are we gonna get there? The twenty first. All right, let's do that. Okay, it looks like they've changed their mind. All right, so we're attacking. We have superior numbers to the Russian army, which is normally weaker than ours, most likely. Good. Did they dig in or something? No, we're actually doing pretty well. Rolling eights, thank God. We're going to siege up here as well. Can we please... Um, we're doing so well now. Can I add my war goal, please? How could it go better? It is going so nice. This war. I refuse to believe that it could be going better. We're going to attack the Russians here. Uh, these guys are going to Turin, so we might as well chase them before... Yeah, we don't want to get caught out. And it looks like that's exactly what these uh, these guys are trying to do to us, the French. Trying to catch our troops out. Let's just all get in the battle so that we can't... We, we don't want to fight any losing. We don't want to lose at all, if we can help it. Why is there... Oh, okay, that's a British army sieging that. Okay. We got some steam transports and such. Let's go help. We're engaging the enemy some more. How is the uh, the Prussian front? The Prussians are at 90. The France is still at a, at a really high amount of power. I'm surprised at them. How would they get that much power? Don't know. Let's take these guys and go and kill the Russians over here. And we'll leave the rest here to battle. Yeah, it looks like the Russians are being like idiots and splitting up too much. Can we please add a war goal now? I mean, look at how much war score we got for you guys. Plus 50 from battles. That's like 90% us, I'm pretty sure. Can I please just add my war goal? Or do we have to get to all the way to the you know top where they're going to peace out? Engage enemy. Good. We've engaged two Russia two forces. Let's go let's go fight them in Nice here. Kill the Nice people. Kill the Noravian place. Let's go to Osta to just finish them off. I I think that's what's gonna happen. Um he'd be perfect oh Prince of Terror Infamy and then minus oh god. It's not good. Why is that? Oh, and that, I guess that's one of the ones he built over here. Okay, well, whatever. Can we add our war goal now? Alright, so we engage them here. Might be a bad idea, because it looks like they're going to win. Well, we stopped them just in time. Let's see, how many transports do we actually have here? We need like 10. No, we don't have that many. Alright, well we can at least get some troops to help over there quickly in Nice. And then these guys as well. Although it looks like we've already won. Good for us. And then we'll just continue on fighting. Okay, let's get these guys in the boats here, and then we'll drop them off in Nice. Our, t our boys are tired, so let's let's balance out and just hang out in our own territory, just cause I'm I'm t I don't want them to die. I mean we're doing well. 
So, no reason to ruin it by losing all our troops now. Specifically with these guys, we're going to go and attack the small 8,000 Russian army. Hmm. We should stop them though from sieging Nice, because I mean we fought really hard to get those sieges on them. And it's nice to having them, but I'm not sure what's worse, letting these Russians siege us or what. Oh god, elections, no! Alright, well, this is a fun crisis war. Well, we did get our alliance with uh, the awesome Prussians, so let's go ahead and get military access from them, just to make them happy with us. The UK might be inclined. Not not now, obviously, but but eventually, you know. Um, but we, we, should, we should be able to tear apart Austria after this. Especially since we have 78 well, they're not at war, Austria, so they'll actually get a little bit of a boost. Oh well. Anyways, that's kind of about it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I definitely did, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Spray and pray out.